but let me turn to Mr. Michel Zabi here once uh, more. What role, moving forward, uh, now we have more or less established the status quo uh, about what is going on in Afghanistan and what the current situation is. I think the more important question is how it will evolve. Uh, what can we expect? What role do you foresee, if any, of your country? What role does the UAE have to play? What role can the region uh, play in what the future holds for Afghanistan? I know it's a, tri it's a very tricky tricky role there. Um, I think, Ali, uh, first of all, we need to respect the will of the Afghanis. That's uh, a major uh, issue. I mean, uh, my colleagues here, they mentioned interventions. We had two major interventions, uh, clear, but there are other interventions, you know, uh, from, uh, unfortunately, neighboring countries. So, um, we need to respect the will of the, the Afghanis. The other issue, for less, as um, one of the, uh, um, in the session 13 mentioned, that we need to look forward. Um, stop looking back to the history, really. We need to build on what we have now. Now we have uh, um, a regime, either we accept it or not, in Afghanistan. So we need to assist that regime to, and call him to let all the different uh, um, ethnic groups, uh, different parties to participate in that government. I mean, my friend from, from India just mentioned that uh, Taliban is, is Bashtun. Yes, it's, it's a Bashtun, but also we need to uh, make sure that the other uh, minorities, the Hazar, the, uh, the Tajiks, you know, the, the, the rest of, uh, of, of the different uh, parties, they need to come and join uh, and to be included in, the, in, that, in that government. Um, women, women also. I mean, I, I'm not sure that the, the current government has any, any women in it, you know. No. So it, it, it has to... Uh, um, um, I think also... Um, the, 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 the country really now is running through very catastrophic financial, uh, you know, uh, some type of, of uh, uh, bank robbery. I think we need to make sure that uh, we need to support the Afghan people. That's why UA is giving a lot of aids and also uh, <coughs> we, we assisted in, in so many uh, you know, uh, tens of thousands of uh, evacuation operation. Uh, really, now we have like more than 10,000 people uh, waiting for their final destination in UAE. And if I can just jump in and follow up, you said we need to respect the will of the Afghan people. Do you think the current situation with the Taliban back in power adequately reflects the we, will of the Afghan people? No, we need to call the Taliban and uh, whatever. Uh, means we have uh, either, you know, the pressure or, or, or the carrot. You know, we need to make sure that the different ethnic groups, the different tribes, uh, you see, Taliban has uh, a very unique cultural uh, uh, situation. You cannot impose also, you know, um, a different culture on them. Uh, so, I mean, we, we tried, or, or the, 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 some countries or the international community tried uh, other types of regime. Unfortunately, it didn't succeed. I mean, either you're talking about the 70s or in, in the, uh, after the, in the, this millennium. So really, I think we need to make sure that they choose their own way, but also we need to tell them that there are, there are some international concerns and also they, not, they need to respect the international law and also they have to uh, make sure that they cannot work alone without... Uh, but your elite. premise, of course, implies that the Taliban would agree to a free and fair election. There, there, well, there are so many approaches to, to, to convince. I, I can't say convince, but also uh, they, they are, for example, now saying that this is a transitional government. Right. You know? So let's see. Okay. Yeah, well, during this period, and as you know, all of us are really uh, are monitoring and observing. Right. Well, the situation. interesting point, very much so, Mr. Al Zabi. Very much appreciate. Let's see if the Taliban itself sees itself as a transitional power. That that remains to be seen. But Jim, um, com coming back again to uh, the U.S. role here, and and 
Um, the, the, role, the, the wound licking, if you will, still continues in Washington. As a matter of fact, perhaps unprecedented, you have two generals uh, in front of Congress disputing the accounts of Joe Biden saying, no, we advise them to keep, to keep at least 2,500 troops on the ground. He disagreed with us or he went forward without taking into account. That's unprecedented. Yeah, it, it plays into something I'd just like to say to like what MK said. He said you needed to organize a retreat. I don't think any American... Uh, in the military or not, wanted to see what we saw. Uh, that was not the outcome that they were looking for. Um, and no one knew that the, well, the Afghan military was going to collapse as fast as it did and the government was going to flee. And that, that whole thing was, uh, was uh, you couldn't plan for that. Um, and, uh, 20 years of national intelligence, they couldn't right. foresee they, what was happening. Well, you know, so I'll tell you what the generals said, what, where their failures were this last week. They said, uh, first, we Americanized the war, meaning to say that they had uh, they fought a war, they taught the uh, Afghan army how to fight along the lines of what the U.S. military does, and Reno hinted at that. Um, he said, they said that they, you have to have good visibility in the troops, and three years before the end, uh, the U.S. Withdraw, withdrew its uh, soldiers that were uh, out in the field with the Afghan troops, and could see what the hearts and minds were saying out there, what the troop, what the Afghan troops were thinking, uh, and probably would have realized to some extent how uh, corrupt the military had become. Uh, the, they said that um, you had to train for the culture, and this is something that the military, American military always makes a mistake at, and that is to sort of teach them how to use our high-tech weapons and things like that. And then when the infrastructure for the high-tech weapons goes away, um, they're at sea. Uh, and finally, don't watch the calendar. And this is something that MK uh, looked at, too, is it, you know, the, the idea that uh, the calendar was ticking, that everybody knew that, including the Taliban. So, um, you know, I just said an end date. And I just, just say two more things on that. Uh, of course. I, as an observer, uh, uh, something that we've made a mistake, and, and Renault hinted at that, too, was that uh, you don't rebuild societies, you don't reconstruct governments, you don't you do nation building from the top down. You do it from the bottom up. And I mean, unless the people of Afghanistan really want to create a democratic government or whatever government they want to create, and they now have that opportunity, um, uh, you, you can't impose something, uh, Western norms, on them, and you have to watch out for mission creep, which is what happened. I mean, we could have gotten out, as Reynolds said, we could have gotten out of Afghanistan at any point along the line in those 20 years, including uh, once Osama bin Laden had been killed uh, in, in 2011. Uh, 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 Barack Obama said in, in uh, 2014 that we had finished our military mission, and he almost declared an end to the war at that point in 2014. So, I mean, there were a number of stages along the line where the, the, um, the troops could have been withdrawn uh, and, and probably in a much better fashion than what we saw. Is, is that one of the main lessons that to, to both uh, the U.S., the West, NATO, whatever you want to call it, that nation building does not work? Is that one of the main lessons? It, it, it really, it, it's hard to think of places, at times when it has. And I mean, you know, a lot of people would say, well, there's a, the Marshall Plan after World War II, um, Germany and France and uh, the other, uh, the other uh, victims of World War II were rebuilt. But the, it was a question of rebuilding a nation that already existed as opposed to uh, what we saw in Afghanistan, which was essentially uh, trying to build some kind of a nation that didn't exist before. Renaud, you, you have covered Afghanistan, as I said, extensively. You were there during the first run of the Taliban, if you will, from 1996 to no, 2000. Aslan, Aslan uh, could I just intervene a point on which, I mean, just point, so that I won't lose the credit of what he said. Just quickly, so, please, yes. No, I, I, he, um, you, you said that <clears throat> imposition. I think... The, uh, the, the imposition of the president of, the, of Afghanistan. You know, the, the Americans decided to introduce as a friend, Hamid Karzai was there, all right, first choice. The choice of changing Hamid Karzai for Mr. Ashraf Ghani. No, um, Ashraf Ghani certainly is, a, is an outstanding individual, but certainly was, the change was, was done because Hamid Karzai was not seen as an American puppet. And that was, a, I think these are fundamental failures I, I, which you need to, when you said when you to rebuild, okay, you went in open blind, probably did not know. But after that, we should realize that. I just think that we mentioned that because in, when you said of rebuilding, you have to rebuild in many ways, particularly of a nation that did not exist.
That's, that, that's exactly yeah, what I yeah, said. Yeah, no, that's uh, exactly yeah. what I said. That you had, we were, you were exactly. trying to rebuild a nation that didn't exist. Exactly. And, and I, after World War II, there were nations that already exactly. existed that we were I, you know, I, I think correcting the you destruction. Was, but you no. were spot on, Jim. I think you're spot on on that. I think you need to make that. I, I wanted to raise that point here because if sure. you're trying it in the next time, please uh, take note of this fact. Right. Yeah.